why is the gut regarded as a second brain rather than the heart, to say, which many would say is equally important? Yeah, I'm not sure who coined that phrase originally, but, yeah. um, you know, it's a long organ, it's 26 feet long. I guess and we're more conscious of what it gets up to than the heart, aren't we, generally? Yeah, it's, it's, there's, there's a lot of monitoring that goes on in, in, the, in the gut. Um, of course, it's <clears> one <throat> of the only organs that's actually exposed to the outside environment. Mm -hmm. So it has to have a radar system, in a way, to yeah. um, inform the, the organism, and this isn't just humans, but it's all organisms, of the safety of what you're eating. And it's also... The, the way we get our fuel in, I mean, food is really fuel. That's what it is. I mean, mm. it can be very tasty, but essentially it's taking fuel. And therefore, it's important to know, you know, when you fill your fuel tank, when it's empty, you need to know when you're running on reserve. And of course, there are the waste products that go through the exhaust pipe, which you have to know about as well. So um, if you've got a tube 26 feet long with four different organs, really, you've got the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine, which is 20 feet long, and the large intestine, which is about five and a half feet long, um, and each has got a different function, you need a lot of radar, if I could use that, uh, that way yeah, of describing yeah. it. Yep. 